So you've got your carbon wok and you've seasoned it like I showed you in my previous video. What tools are you going to use to help you create these amazing Chinese dishes? Because your wooden spoon, your silicon spatula, they're not cutting it anymore. You need the right tools for the job. After all, you've already got the big one. I'm here today to show you exactly what you need. Stay tuned, guys. Right, so whenever you go into a Chinese household or even a restaurant kitchen, a Chinese restaurant kitchen or a takeaway kitchen, you're gonna find these three implements. These are your staples. This will get you through pretty much everything, okay? The most general tool is your stir fry ladle, okay? Now this is like a normal ladle, except for it has a shallower angle. So it means that you can, if I demonstrate here, it fits so when you're kind of stir frying it goes instead of having to hold it at a more vertical angle which would be very impractical this you can use when you're tossing your food etc etc really really good now this one is a general purpose one like i said but especially for good for anything with sauces because it's a ladle so if you're making a chop suey anything like a sauce like with a sauce like satay a kung bao uh, if you're finishing off a sweet and sour chicken hong kong style something like this this is going to get the job done because you can scoop it out and you can actually toss it and actually stir it it's perfect this is what you need next on the list is one of these which is a, like a spatula in chinese it's called chan okay which means basically something you can get underneath food with now this is excellent for if you're frying rice or noodles or anything that's more dry some something like a foo young which doesn't have any sauce in it because this can get underneath and kind of just get it off the surface of your wok and then you can flip it and and kind of maneuver it with this instead of using a ladle where you can only kind of scoop a part of it because it's more of a bowl shape this can get underneath whatever you're doing so perfect for your chow mains your rices your dry your dry foods your dry dishes this is absolutely perfect for okay but between this and your ladle you can't go far wrong if you're only going to buy one get this one the ladle because this is general purpose this one will not help you pick up liquids okay if you're trying to scoop up a chop suey with this you it's not going to be really very good is it as you can see okay it's fairly logical so if you're only going to get one get this one but i mean these two i got from amazon they're about 10 pounds 15 dollars or whatever very very cheap indeed and then you are pretty much set up number three on the list is your spider okay i got this from uh, a western cooking or cookery shop because uh, had I gone to a Chinese supermarket, I probably would have had bamboo as the handle, which would have been nice, but it doesn't matter because it does the same thing. This spider, as they call it, the reason why it's called a spider is because it looks a bit like a spider's web. There you go, like a spider's web. Okay, and this is for when you're deep frying in your wok or any other pan. You can use this in a saucepan, it's fine. And it's very, very, I mean, this is really, really simple. You can scoop out bits food from your hot oil without getting yourself burnt. Very useful, lets the oil run out really easily between the gaps, but still keeping your food in. And because the gap's quite small, even small pieces of food are gonna come out. So this is absolutely perfect. So guys, these are your three starter kit. This is pretty much all you're gonna need anyway. Um, there are other things, but um, I can't think of anything that's gonna be essential or even describable <laughs> to use actually. So go for these. Uh, the whole lot is going to cost you less than £20, uh, which is $25 or so, I reckon. Um, so, yeah, there you go. This and your wok, and you are good to go. I want to see people commenting and showing me their most amazing dishes. So if you've got anything or any ideas, stick them in the comment section below. Tell me which tools you use, or even if you're not going to use these, you don't have to. I'm only, ask, only suggesting you get these, but if you don't, show me what you're using tell me what you're using prove me wrong it's fine because at the end of the day you don't have to have these if you don't want to this is just a suggestion video so go ahead leave some comments below click like if you like the video subscribe if you haven't and i'd like to see you in the next video take care guys Bye bye